starts now with Chief Meteorologist Eric Finkenbinder. A lot of clouds, you know, we got uh, a nice white landscape across the, the bottom, the top. It's all just gray. We really not, have never had a chance to see that much sunshine, but it's actually one of the warmer afternoons that we've had so far this week. That's right. We did actually hit 32 at HIA. We're now into the 20s. Let me quickly step back and show you some of the coldest temperatures that we've had so far this year. Now, I always pick the colder spots. Uh, Louisville and Perry County at six, Lidditz, Carlisle and Mifflin Town, anywhere seven, eight, nine. We're now into the 20s. Uh, it's not going to be one of those nights that we're going to be plummeting. No, because we have the clouds and we have this approaching system, uh, a lot of us will be staying into the 20s. But uh, as we look off toward the north and west, we start to see that Arctic air reloading. Now, it's not quite as cold. I mean, we were looking at sub zero earlier this week. Now we're looking at some single digits, for example, Minneapolis at nine. That is the reinforcing cold air that moves in this weekend and ahead of it. Ah, OK, I know we just want to focus on the snow, so let's talk more about that now that we have it through Iowa that will soon be moving through Chicago here shortly. For us, it will be here before daybreak. So for a lot of us making plans saying, OK, let's get ahead of it. Unless you're traveling overnight, I would say even getting up early before maybe an hour or two before the rush, it's already going to be here. This is 4 a.m. and it's here. Now, we're still talking light accumulations of one to three inches of snow that's going to take all day to accumulate, but very similar to what we had earlier this week, that even that coating of snow can make things a little tricky at times, especially when traveling. Here's 8 a.m. Notice as we get later into the day, we start to see more holes being poked through, and that's just an indication of that intensity becoming less and less and less. And what seemed earlier this week that the snow never really stopped, that's kind of what's going to happen Friday evening. It'll look like it's snowing, but it's just slowly adding just a little bit on top of the, uh, the new snowpack. By Friday night, 11 o'clock, if you're joining us for the show, we'll be done. All right, so snow amounts. As we show you, this is uh, our precision cast, and we have been liking what it's been showing, anywhere from one to three inches. I feel that two to three inches are going to be common for us, so we're going to keep that one to three range. Uh, th could there be an isolated four inch in a couple of spots like we saw earlier this week? Yes, but for the most part, two to three inches I do feel is going to be common. Then cold and blustery for Saturday. Winds will be 10 to 20 with highs only around 25. It's going to feel cold. We begin to slowly bounce back cold and breezy then for Sunday, then upper 30s, then 40s, and we're just chewing away that snow fast next week because as we see 43, then 45, 47 by next Friday and Saturday, uh, I would probably go 50s for next Friday and Saturday. So yeah, the snow here for tomorrow will add a little bit. We'll enjoy it this weekend. Gone by next weekend. Thank you, Eric. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we now know the other Super Bowl.